What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. I'm going to do a video today about my fish and um, some of the fish food that I'm using. Uh, just when you think everything's going okay, you're sitting back, you're looking at your tank, I'm like, damn, hell yeah, everything's going good. Uh, your fish get ick. I think it's okay having ick in your system. There's no way you're going to be able to get rid of it. As long as your fish are eating, swimming around, and are healthy, um, you're going to probably beat it. I've had ick. Um, I tried quarantine. It's just a pain in the butt. Uh, for those of you that do quarantine, big shout out to you guys. It takes a lot of dedication to be able to do that, have different systems. And um, it's just, for me, it's just difficult to go ahead and quarantine, catch the fish, put them in, you know, a tank that just has PVC or something. Because you don't really want to have like live rock in um in QT tank because you're going to be dosing medication. Then that medication gets in the live rock and all that. But what I want to share with you guys in this video is uh, something that happened to me. I, I was very, very uh, scared about. I got Popeye in my fit. I'm not talking about the good Popeyes, which I could go for right now. Some uh, Popeyes strip combo with some red beans and rice i'm not talking about that popeye or i'm not talking about the uh other popeye i'm talking about the popeye that's a bacterial infection that makes your fish look completely gross uh my hippo tank ended up getting popeye um he got popeye his eye was huge at first it was cloudy you know and then it progressed all the way to his eyeball almost Looking like it was going to bust out of his um, body. Uh, I was going to take pictures of it. But it ended up uh, going away. And uh, you know still have a little bit of ick in the system. But right now everybody's okay and swimming around and not dead. What I wanted to talk to you about is what I did to kind of beat that. I did a big water change. I did a 15 gallon water change. Um, I also have been using some food from New Life Spectrum um, and I was just gonna go ahead and do the food video show you the unboxing but you know what as soon as I got that food I got that uh, infection where my uh, fish got Popeye the first food that I want to talk to you about is a product called Ick Shield um, I sent out an email to New Life Spectrum I ended up getting a reply back from the president shout out to that I N. Um, I, let's just call him INT because his uh, last name, I don't want to mess it up. But he's the president of New Life Spectrum. And uh, what I was com concerned about is it was saying for fish only. Well, if you look at my tank, it's totally not a fish only tank. It's, you know, the full blown reef system. And uh, I had already been using it to feed my fish. So I was a little bit concerned about that. And his response was, that the ick shield is not claimed to be fully reef safe due to the active ingredients. However, it is possible to use it with caution in your tank with corals, anemones, etc. As the ac active ingredient is locked within the pellet rather than in a bath solution. So basically, if your fish eats it, that's the only thing that's going to be affected. The whole Reef tank is not going to be affected, and um, I could tell you that that is the case. I haven't had any problems. They also have some stuff called Ick Bath Solution or Ick Shield, which is a uh, bath solution, uh, and that's good for you if you have a quarantine tank. Like I said, I don't have a quarantine tank, and I use these pellets. They work good. The Ick Shield. Um, another product that I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about is this it's like a, a pellet food obviously but uh it's probiotics and probiotics is bacteria basically like a yogurt for your fish uh has like 300 3 million cultures of bacteria on a single pellet which is pretty cool the only bad thing about it is you gotta kind of have to dissolve it uh or somehow cut it down because the pellets are so big i ordered the big pellets, which um, I would recommend the uh, medium-sized pellets that I got with the Ick Shield. So I want to know what you guys are using to feed your fish. Um, of course, 
from day one, I've said, always said garlic. And the uh, egg shield, you open that, that top, you can definitely smell that garlic. What the garlic does, it does not cure ick, but it keeps your fish interested in eating. Uh, and that this stuff has a high um, aroma, and so that means it has a lot of uh, garlic in it. Uh, just go ahead and pause the video. You can check it out. Um, like I said, I didn't, uh, I'm not getting any kickbacks from uh, New Life Spectrum. I just want to tell you what I did in case you're having the same problems uh, because there's not a whole lot of information out there about this. Uh, this is just food that I use. Um, of course, I'm not feeding my fish this all the time. Um, it's important to keep your fish diet uh you know, with a wide range of foods. I feed fish cubes, uh, frozen fish cubes. I feed uh, coral food. Um, and I use this stuff, the New Life Spectrum stuff, uh, here and there. Um, I also like still using the goji berries and all of that. But uh, this food uh, is a good thing to have in your arsenal and uh, have it there in case you need it. Hope this video helped you guys out. You guys take care, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Let me know what you guys use in the comments down below.